Welcome everyone to Trend Talks Life. I am your host, Aaron Tomey, and today we're talking to Trend Micro Senior Marketing Manager, Andrea Caesar. Andrea, how are you doing today? Hi, Erin. I'm very well, thank you. And thank you for pronouncing my name correctly. I really, really appreciate it. <laughs> of course, of course. I would love to just start with you sharing a bit about your role here at Trend Micro. Absolutely. Let's uh, keep it short and sweet. Um, I've been with Trend Micro for the last three years, more or less. And my main focus is to elevate our brand as a cybersecurity leader which we are, um, but also connect our tailored solution with the unique and diverse cybersecurity needs of businesses. And we do it um, in a smart way, a data-driven way, and in a very, very competitive way using digital marketing and also traditional ways like outdoor advertising and um, events, of course. That's me in a nutshell. (laughs) Yes, well, I know, Andrea, that you have a very strong background in journalism. And what inspired you to pursue a career in marketing and how has your background in journalism influenced your approach to B2B marketing that you mentioned there? That's a good question. So after 10 years of B2B um, um, journalism and also as an editor in chief, you have to think what's next for you in terms of your career progression and transitioning to B2B tech marketing seemed to me the best fit. Um, and that's for very, very, uh, there's loads of reasons for that. Um, firstly, for the skills you get as a journalist, um, you, for, you, you learn how to ask um, a lot of questions, the most sensible questions, the whys, the hows, the whens, and so on and so forth. Um, you learn how to listen to to your audience and you learn a lot while you have you know thousands of interviews as you probably also you've learned a lot during this series you learn a lot with your audience um, you learn to search and research and you know um, appreciate the third parties um, research a bit um, you learn to be patient so I remember once uh, someone from uh, um, an interview to mention to me he's like you know what, I am not uh, available for this interview this year. Um, call me next year. And you know what, next year I called him back and I said, you know, I don't know if you remember, but you mentioned that you would like to have an interview after a year. Um, and he said, yes, and I had I had the best interview ever. I, I remember it even now after uh, 10 years. Um, so you learned a lot of um, a lot of skills that are applicable into marketing. You of, of course you learn you know the copywriting and you know to adapt. You learn how to adapt to your audience. What's important for the sec- for your um, audience? And I think the most important thing is you learn to simplify messages and just to say what's important for the audience. And now with the attention span of a person of less than eight seconds, I think that's one of the most important skills you should have. So it absolutely made sense for me to, you know, move into B2B marketing um, tech. And then also it was a good uh, opportunity for me to move into London, uh, which is like the tech uh, city and where I can learn and explore. And as you've probably seen, I'm I'm curious. I like to explore, to ask questions. And um, they're both both like technology and marketing made sense for me um, as a next step for my career. And now after 10 years, here here I am. Well, like we're saying, you've been in marketing now for close to 10 years, which I'm sure sometimes you think, where has the time gone (laughs) since you made that move? (laughs) I don't know. I don't know. (laughs) I would love to hear about a memorable career moment or achievement that really shaped your journey in marketing. Absolutely. So I'm smiling because my family knows the story and my friends know the story. Um, A couple of years ago, um, I had to program the Pepper the Robot. And if you don't know the Pepper the Robot, it's an AI robot. And that time was the most exciting thing on the market. We had to program it to co- to bring it to an event, which is um, it was an IBM event. If um, Pepper the Robot was on the back of AI Watson, um, and that at, at that point is it was something very new. It's a, probably for me it was the first time I've learned about AI, machine learning, uh, all this 
updates about the world uh, we live in. And I was like, oh, wow, where, where this is absolutely new. And I was excited. I was like a kid in the candy store, so I couldn't sleep. I was absolutely excited. After a couple of years ago, um, I want to book uh, an interview with Sophia the Robot. And yes, there's a pattern there. And so we interviewed Sophia the Robot and asking her about the future of cybersecurity. And it was amazing to hear a robot, what she thinks about, um, you know, what, what will happen in the next five years. And actually it happened. It actually it happened. So it's, it's, it's absolutely amazing how the, the, the technology transforms, but also how marketing is, is applying um, technology uh, nowadays. And um, sometimes I smile, you know, marketing is seen as like traditional marketing you know sometimes i hear like we do the coloring we do the uh, funny stuff and so on and um, but sometimes like marketing has evolved so much when you're using so much technology and um, we are using data driven um, you know information we do uh, intent data to segment audiences and to target display ads we do we use automation ai chatbots um like we we're using so many so many tools when it comes to technology and it's absolutely amazing it's absolutely an amazing field where you should be and when you work with cyber security all together that's absolutely uh, it's an extraordinary journey for everyone it must have been interesting to have that memorable experience back when you know ai existed but for the average person at home they didn't really hear about it Whereas now, you know, especially the last two years, it has just absolutely blown up where everyone and anyone knows about it. So it must be interesting for you to see kind of the niche AI period. And then now, you know, what has happened recently? We're using AI in cybersecurity. So yeah, it's just everyone is like, you know, is familiar with ChatGPT and all. And it's it's exciting. And I see. I, I, see some people are concerned about the future. I see it exciting. It's like, what can we do next? And um, how are we evolving as, as, as a field, but not only, and it, oh, the automation bit. Oh my God, I think it has so many possibilities for everyone, <laughs> especially the ones that, you know, uh, you know, random task you have to do and sometimes you don't, we shouldn't do it because automation can do it. So it's everything, it seems to me exciting. Andrea, thank you so much for joining me today on Trend Talks Life. I'm so glad we had the opportunity to chat and learn more about your story. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for the invite, Erin. I'm looking forward to see and hear other, other stories of that.